or we are working on a new release of GCAD Plus and making some fairly substantial changes. One of these involves the hatching tool. So this particular space in here, can you see, is surrounded by a series of lines. It's not a polyline. In the current version of GCAD Plus, we'd recommend joining those lines to form the shape that you want to hatch. But if I now choose Draw and Hatch, up pops this new dialog box, and we can pick a point. Let me il illustrate by clicking in there. You can see GK Plus now radiates out and finds the boundary, ignoring a line that's across it there. And you notice it doesn't capture this little area here, but we can simply click again, and that defines a hatch area. What it's in fact done is draw that polyline around the shape. In fact, it's drawn two little polylines, which I'll demonstrate later. So we can hit the Enter key, and at this point, we can pick our hatch pattern. And uh, let's come down here to one of the more elaborate ones. Um, we'll try River Rock will do. And we, we want to change the the density of the from maybe let's make it about 25 we try and aim to get the density less than maybe one and we'll go okay and the river rock hatch pattern goes in if i now pick that hatch and delete it and then i'll pick what was previously a series of separate lines can you see gcad plus has made a polyline around that area and it's made an additional little polyline around this area here. So we think that's a big improvement to the hatching function. Saves you having to draw shapes around the area that you need to hatch. You can still work in the same way. Let's pick hatch again and let's choose select an entity. So we can just so pick that it is in fact an entity now and let's make it solid. I'll scroll up and we go OK. So it's hatched that solid area. So you can still work the same way, but with the additional benefit of picking a uh, picking a zone and have GK Plus radiate out to find that zone. So if there's anyone watching this who would like to be a beta tester of this, we have a slight hesitation that the speed of hatching might be a little slower than it is at present. We'd like to hear from you if you'd like to be a beta tester. It will be some time before this release is available.